important that fans know that we get a lift from seeing our green and gold in the stands. Passionate, tough games. They're on our soil and we want the three points. Come watch us play against Japan and create another memory of Socceroos history. Brilliant stuff from the Socceroos. What the emotion must be like to score for your country in a key World Cup qualifier. Oh, to a crossbar by Matt Ryan. Aiden Frostage. He makes no mistake. Hello and welcome to Socceroos Camp yet again. It's uh, not far away now, the big game for the Socceroos against uh, Japan. And uh, we look forward to a huge night on Thursday at Stadium Australia, just across the road here. Johnny Stensis is one of our new Socceroos. He's with, the, with us now for our Q&A. Thanks for joining us, Johnny. No worries, Zappa. Now we've got plenty of uh, questions coming through. So uh, if you'd like to ask Johnny a question, then jump on and send your questions now and we'll answer as many as we can in the next few minutes and uh, don't forget you can still grab your tickets for this big game we want to see as many of you as we can at stadium australia uh, a really good crowd expected uh, i was lucky enough to walk inside the stadium yesterday johnny we did some media and uh, it's looking magnificent there's a new massive screen there i'm not sure if you've seen it but uh, some yeah. great memories of uh, socceroos games gone past and uh, i reckon we'll we'll add another special memory on thursday night i think so that's the plan isn't it <laughs> yeah absolutely uh tell us a little bit about your your preparation um you're playing your football in norway at the moment so how, how's that going yeah that's right um i moved there about seven months ago from the from the central coast mariners um and we are about to start the season next week. We've had a couple of cup games that we've, we've won quite comfortably. So we're through to the semi-finals of the cup and uh, it's been a great pre-season. We went uh, to the US, uh, played some MLS teams and uh, put them to bed easily. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's been a good, good uh, pre-season for me, no, no issues. And I'm feeling really fit and ready to go for the game. What's, uh, what's Norwegian football like? We don't get to see a lot of it uh, here in Australia. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the biggest difference. Um, cold and darker in the winter. You know, sometimes we start training at 10 a.m. and they have to turn the lights on, you know, because it's, really? so, yeah, yeah. it's dark and overcast and um, wearing two jackets, three jackets and gloves yeah. and beanie and stuff. Um, but that's that's how it is, and I'm looking forward to the summer. I think it's going to be a little bit warmer. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's 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 good. I think it's a it's a fast pace. It's a technical league, and I think it's it's a league that's um, starting to, you, you know, it's had it's had a lot of history um, in that league. And for example, my club, you know, it's it was I, I think established in 1899. So you know, really old clubs, a lot of history. Um, and you know, it's it's also just being in Europe. It's got we've got the opportunity to be in Euro European competitions and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's a it's a good place for me to be at the moment. Yeah, tell us uh, where you are in, in relation. To, we all know uh, the capital is, is Oslo. How far away from uh, there are you? And what's what's living in in Norway like apart from being super cold? Mm, mm. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's just about a forty minute flight uh, from Oslo. It's it's on the coast, and actually it's it's. No, it's renowned as the the uh There's some great pictures there <laughs> i don't imagine yeah. going for a swim in there, there this there, time of year yeah 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 it's a <laughs> it's actually a, a beautiful beautiful town um yeah. and and it's known actually as the the surf capital of norway yeah right uh, i've only been for one surf and it's <laughs> really cold <laughs> But, um, you need a super thick wet, wet yeah, suit. Yeah, I bought I bought a I bought a big one, um, yeah. not one that you'd wear in Australia, but um, yeah, it's it's I think as you can see from the photos, oh, I, where those boats were, that's kind yeah. of like in the area I live. But um, fantastic. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful beautiful city, um, and and nice people and beautiful people at the club. So it's it was a great transition for me from Australia. Now. Uh, <laughs> Before we get into the questions from uh, uh, the Socceroos fans, um, tell us about the last few days for you coming into camp. Obviously, some new faces in camp. Mm. How's uh, how's it all been? Yeah, it's been it's been excellent. It's always oh, it's it's great it's great to come into camp just for only the second time. Uh, we see some more young faces in the in the team. It was uh, just me and John Rowe, I guess, who were the young, only young boys last time I was in here. But now we got some more young young boys in the, in the squad. Uh, so it's great to meet them and uh, um, but yeah I mean I guess for me there was just a lot of an anticipation for this camp um, <clears throat> with 
you know how how big these games are and and what it means to the Socceroos and what it means to Australia. So um, yeah, this this camp I've been thinking about it for a long time, obviously and. Uh, yeah, it, it all comes down to tomorrow. Really. You, you spoke about some of the young players. Obviously, mm. you know a lot of them from from your A League yeah. days. You get the sense that uh, that you know you'll you'll get uh, some game time and and, and maybe in, in some cases starting time. And, and I know that's a decision for the mm. coach. Mm. But uh, is it a little bit different in terms of preparation now, given that uh, there, there there will be um, probably some more game time for, for the younger players in the squad? Yeah, <coughs> I, I guess so. I guess uh, my mentality is just always to be pre prepared, uh, be 100% ready. You know, you never know what can happen, even if you don't expect to, to be in the team. But um, yeah, I think it's just it's just being comfortable with your with your role in a team that um, you know you're not always together with. That's a big difference between uh, being with your club, who you're with all the time every day, um, to to come into the national team when you only have you know two or three sessions uh, with the team mm -hmm. to to kind of um, <clears throat> get into the structure and learn about the other boys in the team, um, build some bonds and uh, prepare for the match. Yeah. Seeing some vision from training yesterday, it was yeah. the first session where we really had a, a significant number of players, 19 in the session <coughs> yesterday, and mm. then everyone's uh, now in camp as of last night. So you've got uh, a real big session today. Mm. So that's match day minus one. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what happens in, well, in yesterday's session and, and, and the things that you, you sort of focus on without giving away our tactics to yeah. our Japanese friends. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No, um, I think, yeah, obviously coming in, I think every, everyone's already already fit enough. Everyone's ready to ready to play. So it's, it's more about the tactical sense of, of how we're going to play as a team and how we're going to play face up against the opposition um, so that's you know yesterday was was uh, mainly a tactical session you know they, they always make it fun and um, and and just you know so the boys can can enjoy enjoy each other and, and start to get to know each other a little bit um, and I think today will be similar again um, but yeah keep it light keep it fun so everyone's uh, ready and firing tomorrow All right. well let, let's get stuck into some of the questions we've got to We've got some time, so send through your questions to Johnny Stensness. Uh, first from Blake Eddie, how do you feel? How did you feel when you when you got the call up? And how do you get the call up? Does Arnie call you? Do yeah. you get an email? Do you get a, a pigeon sending? You a yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, yeah. Arnie had been in contact with me um, about in in regards to the opportunity, um, in regards to you know how how big the games are and and just for me to be ready. So. But uh, you know, like he, you know, he can't guarantee that you're going to be in the team. So it's 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 nice that morning when you know you finally get the, it's, a, it's you you get into the WhatsApp group and then yeah, <laughs> and they say well, well done boys, you're in the, you're in the squad. So that's a it's a nice moment. Yeah, it's definitely a nice moment. That's a WhatsApp group now. It's yeah. not a letter from <laughs> no. uh, from the federation. Yeah. Um, what about uh, from Scriven or Sriven uh, eight? Uh, do you get nervous before big games? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I used to, uh, you know, as a kid, get get more nervous yeah. about about games and stuff. Um, and definitely coming into a new team um, is is definitely a more nerve wracking thing. But I think now that um, I I kind of feed off that of that nervous energy, you know, um, and I can transform that into um, just a, a more of an energy and, and courage kind of thing. So, um, you know, I think. And you learn to do that just with playing a lot of games, a lot of high pressure games, you know. Um, so I do get nervous, but uh, I think that's natural for everyone and and just something that you have to learn to to work with, you know. One from uh, Oliver Bulbeck, who has the best banter in the team? Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, as is as is a funny guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of the boys. You know, it's, I think it's difficult for like for 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 me. I'm usually a funny guy, but yeah. I, I, like when you come into a new team, you know, you don't know like who like you know you, you kind of keep it a bit more low key. But yeah. um, I think yeah, as this is a funny guy who's on the table this morning at breakfast, making me laugh, telling me stories and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, but everyone everyone gets along well and and makes people laugh. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, like he's uh, one of the established players. So yeah. probably feels a bit more comfortable yeah. uh, having that banter. From Michael Ong, is a lamington Aussie or Kiwi? 
<laughs> I don't know. Well, my first re reaction gut feeling is, is that it's Aussie. Yeah. But I don't yeah. think they were true. Yeah, trick question. question. <laughs> I, 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 I thought they were Aussie all through and through. Um, Jules rules. Favourite thing about playing in Norway? Well, Jules thought you played in Denmark, but anyway, in Norway. <laughs> um, in Norway. I Favourite thing about playing there? Yeah. Well, I think, yeah, something I forgot to mention before, that, but that now that strikes me is the passion of, of the supporters, I think, with that history, um, you know, comes the passion of the supporters. And we've got, I mean, I'm, uh, flares are probably illegal in Australia, but flares are going off every game yeah. in, in Norway. Yeah. And um, uh, particularly our supporters have got a big, big fan base and, um, you know, songs throughout the game. And um, that's definitely one of my favourite things. Yeah. You, you make me want to visit uh, Norway, Johnny. We'll have to come and watch you play yeah. uh, one, one day. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like a great place to be. So uh, let's keep going with the questions. Plenty uh, coming through. Um, uh, who is your roomie? Do you have you don't have roomies in this camp, do you? you no, nah, no. Nah. Nah, I, I think some of the boys. What about when you're at the Mariners? Yeah, I, I lived with Lewis Miller for a little bit yeah. at the Mariners. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we got along well. Like, and yeah, we're s similar guys, I guess. But it, it, in that sense, I think if you're similar to someone, similar roles, similar character on the field, like there's a lot of competition as well, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah. But that that was that was a great time of my life, like living with Lewis. Um, uh, and yeah, at the moment uh, in soccer is camera don't have a roomie. Do you have a pre-game tune? Uh, multiple pre-game pre-game tunes, I guess. Um, yeah, I, but I don't have one that I stick to. You know, yeah. I just uh, it's whatever I'm feeling like on the day, really. Uh, so yeah. What's uh, the reputation of Aussie players in Norway? Uh, we've got a few there, is that right? Uh, so that's, this is from Steve. Mm. Um, <coughs> at the moment, I'm not sure if there's yeah. many there yeah. or if I'm the only one. Um, but I think it's quite good. I know Gershbach was in Rosenberg um, and I think the reputation of, of Australians and um, Kiwis, because I had a Kiwi in my team, Joe Bell, uh, who, who made a name for himself who's just been sold to a, a Danish club. Um, so yeah, the, the the reputation is that we're quite hard workers, um, strong and physically physically good uh, footballers. Uh, so yeah. Physically big, it, Johnny's massive, he's a massive <laughs> unit. So very, very intimidating when you're sitting next to him or standing next to him. So uh, let's hope our opponents feel the same way <laughs> tomorrow night, Johnny. Um, what about uh, from Rich? Rich, what are you? What are you doing here? Wh who's that bloke over your shoulder, Zappers? Who's the bloke over my shoulder? <laughs> ben. He's in the camera. He's in the <laughs> Ben's working hard. Uh, ben, the media media man for for the Socceroos. Gone, you, Ben. You're in shot there, Ben. So behave yourself. Um, Lansky ninety nine on YouTube. Hey, Johnny. Norwegian cold or Australian heat? Yeah, I definitely choose the Australian heat. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that. You know, before every game of the Mariners, I used to walk down to the beach barefoot, you know, yeah. go for a swim. That's what I like. That's that's what I've grown up with. And I think that's what I always think about going back to, you know, yeah. uh, that's what I love. So definitely Australian heat. Uh, what about from Master Godley on YouTube? Do you play FIFA much? Uh, no, I've never had a gaming console in my life, actually. Yeah. So, well, played FIFA, you know, with, with friends sometimes at, at different houses and stuff but uh, I don't really play it that much. That's uh, it's good yeah. to hear. Yeah. Uh, it's good to hear. I should just, uh, have a word to my son. 16, he's spent plenty of time. Uh, from Ben O'Neill on Facebook. Ben, thank you Ben for your question. You scored some spectacular goals at youth level in the under 20 World Cup mm. and for the Mariners in the A-League. Yeah. Can't tell Ben O'Neill uh, he's, he's got a soft spot for the Mariners. <laughs> what would it mean to you to bring uh, Australia to their feet tomorrow night with a Massive goal, howitzer, <laughs> uh, Benny's saying, howitzer. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, you know, that would be absolutely incredible. Uh, it's not something that, you know, uh, like I would expect to happen. Um, but, you know, you just got to be in the right positions and I think have the right mentality and the right energy. But yeah, that's just something that you, that you dream about, you know, uh, lifting, lifting that <laughs> everyone in the stands and, um, putting a goal in the back of the net in, a, in a, such an important game like, like this. So, yeah. 
from Emily on Facebook. Arnie's uh, mentioned your name a few times in the media as a potential option in the midfield. Yeah. Uh, so w what would that mean to you? And um, yeah, how would you feel about playing in the midfield? You said you're, you're playing at centre back at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, and I can still play midfield. Um, and I'd definitely be, you know, excited to play there. And um, I can definitely, definitely play there. In the, and do a, a role, you know, um, I think what he sees in me there is that I can play a more defensive role um, and and be kind of like a, a dominating kind of player in there. Mm. Um, so, yeah, uh, I love playing midfield as well. Um, so, I'd, yeah, I'd love to play there. From uh, Ewan on YouTube, what is the heritage of your surname? Yeah, Stenslis is actually a Norwegian name. Yeah. Um, I haven't looked up, you know, people have told me to look up the ancestry. I said, yeah, that's a good idea, but I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> um, like to, to find if there's, you know, living relatives or something in Norway, but yeah. I haven't done that yet, but it is, it is Norwegian, yeah. Yeah, so because yeah. was your dad, your dad from, was he from New Zealand? Was he yeah, from my, New Zealand? my dad's Kiwi and yeah. I think on that uh, lineage is, is uh, from Norway. Yeah, yeah. and, and mum, mum's from Australia. Mum's Australian, yeah. And, and Jani, the name Jani is, is a more of an Italian it's name. Italian, right? Yeah, yeah. Where, that's where, right. Where did that come so from? So that just came from. Uh, that just came from. Uh, they thought I was a Gianni. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you look like a Gianni. <laughs> <laughs> it works. I think it yeah. works. Yeah. Got uh, the rugged, good Italian looks. Uh, Gianni Stensis. Uh, uh, we've had lots of uh, lots of questions. Thank you so much for uh, for your questions, Gianni. Thank you. No worries. We uh, we look forward to seeing you out there tomorrow night. There's one one final message here from uh, Oscar, oh, actually there's one more. Uh, what's the best uh, uh, stadium atmosphere you've experienced? There's actually a few more coming through, so we'll keep, can we keep going? Or do we need to go? We can keep going. Okay. Best stadium ac atmosphere you've experienced? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, one thing that comes to mind is um, when we played Rosenberg in the cup and uh, I played really well that game. Yeah. It was one of my good yeah. games. It got man of the match. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that was one of my early games for the club. Um, you know, we had 16,000, which is the capacity of our stadium, and um, really passionate fans. And they had a, they, that's a big, Rosenberg is also a big club in Norway, and it's a bit of a derby. And they also had a lot of traveling supporters, and I think a lot of su supporters in our, in our city, you know. Um, so, it was a massive game. Re the cup is really important in Norway, so yeah, the atmosphere was just pretty incredible for that mm. game. You know, I think one, I don't know if it was that game, but some some of the games you have to stop because there's so much smoke in the stadium yeah. to let let the smoke go out because of all the flares and stuff. So it's pretty intense sometimes. Now, do you know this guy, Damien Chown? Yes. I Damien do. Damien asks, if you weren't a <laughs> socceroo, would you be a professional? Cornhole player. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what is it? It's a great game. It's uh, <laughs> uh, this is funny. He's uh, he's my girlfriend's dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a game where you throw sacks into a, into a hole. Yeah, it's an right. American game that yeah. is picking up popularity in Australia. Okay. And I'll, yeah, it's a it's a great game. And um, but I and you're good at it. I, yeah, I'm alright at it. Yeah. I definitely beat Damien a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but I would say you know, I wouldn't be a professional corner player. I'm not sure how much they make actually. Oh, I don't dear. know if they make enough. <laughs> From Michael Zapier, do you think this could be a breakthrough match for players such as yourself uh, in the national team, as we were sort of touching on earlier? Definitely, definitely. I think it's a big opportunity, and uh, you know, um, obviously, it's 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 not great that we have injuries and COVID uh, coming into the team, but um, it opens the door for, for some young boys to show what they can do. And I think um, it's in the Australian spirit to, for those young boys to, to step up. Mm. You know, that's, that's what uh, we, we do best. And uh, I know I can do that, for sure. From the Central Coast Mariners official account, your favourite <laughs> memory with us, they ask. Yeah. Lots of good memories. Lot, yeah, Gosford. lots of good memories. Yeah. Um, uh, it was... Yeah, I, I, I guess I, I look back at um, a photo um, from the first game of, of last season when we played Jets at home. And I think 
we, we won the game. I think it was maybe 2-1. But um, you could just see what it, what it meant. And I think it, um, I think it, we knew it was, you know, at the start of a better season, you know, we come off mm. a, a, a lot of seasons of um, being down the bottom and, 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 you know, being really difficult. Um, and just that whole season was, was really big, getting back to winning ways. And I think that was the start of it. And you could, you can see the emotion on my face at the end, you know, uh, with Lewis and celebrating. And um, so that's definitely a, a beautiful moment. It's been great to have you uh, for chat. Thank you so much for your time and thank you to all of our fans for all the questions. So we could have kept going, but uh, johnny has got uh, some, some work to do now and to get ready for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, Australia takes on Japan. It's a massive night and it's only oh, 24 hours uh, away. So if you haven't got your tickets, uh, jump online and, and grab some tickets for tomorrow. Night. It's going to be a fantastic evening at Stadium Australia. We hope to see you there. Thanks for tuning in. It's important that fans know that we get a lift from seeing our green and gold in the stands. Passionate, tough games. They're on our soil and we want the three points. Come watch us play against Japan and create another memory of Socceroos history. Brilliant stuff from the Socceroos. What the emotion must be like to score for your country in a key World Cup qualifier. Oh, to the crossbar by Matt Ryan. Aiden Frostage. He makes no mistake.